Okay, let's look at this accounts receivable allowance method problem. We've got the information for Lightning Inc. Okay, they tell us there was 89,000 of credit sales, 14,200 of accounts payable, 8,400 of receivables, a credit balance of $800 sitting in the allowance for uncollectible accounts, and cash sales of 25,000. Now, they tell us also that Lightning uses the percentage of credit sales method and estimates 3% of sales are uncollectible. And the question is asking us to determine what's the ending balance of the allowance account after the year end adjustment. Now remember, when we use the credit sales method, the percentage of credit sales, we match the expense, bad debt expense, which appears on the income statement to the credit sales, which also appears on the income statement. So this is an income statement approach. If instead they said they used percentage of receivables, then I would say it's a balance sheet approach and we would have to emphasize what's the proper amount that, that needs to uh, sit in the allowance for uncollectible accounts. But in this one, since it's percentage of credit sales, what the primary focus is on getting the bad debt expense right. Bad debt is expenses on the income statement just as credit sales are. Okay, so having said that, here's our calculation. 89,000 times 3%. Okay, if we do the calculation, we know that bad debt expense is $2,670. Now, if I move that off, our entry is a debit bad debt expense 2670 and a credit to allowance for bad debts in the same amount. Okay, now I formatted that in dollars so you can see it. And since our beginning balance was $800 and the adjustment we just made, once again, I probably should format this correctly. I'll put a dollar sign on that one right there. Um, what we see is the bad debt expense, 2670 shows up on our T account, um, uh, and there was a credit allowance for bad debts. That credit shows up as a credit in our allowance account, bringing the balance to 3470 and uh, that's the answer.